why are we not doing this in the hallway? Who could be here? You're as crazy as the fans. Yes. Cal, Rob, Rob Dillingham, is that something that you said at Global Jam he was better before uh, than we saw there? Is this the kind of stuff you're seeing in practice? Well, here's what I liked. He was really efficient, and he made about four, four of those, three of those. I'm good if you make 15 of the others. And, you know, I grabbed him a couple times. You know, he had a wide open shot, but he's going to try something crazy. Just don't play that way. You're too good a player. How about the steals? Didn't just do it on offense. He did it defensively. Um, but it was, uh, he's gained 22 pounds because he got beat up in Toronto. Was he making layups in Toronto? No. Because he got bumped, and now all of a sudden he's the one creating the bump and playing through. Um, and then you had Antonio who didn't make any shots. Yet the game was close because one team was getting it in transition, the other team was getting it on the offensive glass. Justin cut. Oh, you know, you don't get the glory with that, but you're getting baskets, you're getting tip dunks. Justin cut. And, and flew up and down the court, and they didn't have a break. I mean, you're talking about them playing literally a full game without a break, which is why in the last 10 minutes I just said let it run. Um, but they, you know, they needed to do this. Now they're ready to try to play somebody else, but we, we got next week to go. Um, we got our women's clinic tomorrow, which will be great. Always a fun thing to do. So, yes. John Jordan Burks, you said he stood out at the Pro Day. The scouts were all talking about him at 20 points tonight. What has he kind of shown you since uh, Canada? He, he just plays to the training. He's not trying to show anything. The guys that are trying to show, like, you know, they, you, you don't look good. You think you do, but you don't. He just plays to the training, and he plays really hard. He's playing, quote, out of position because we're, we're, we're beat up. And so... Uh, but he's doing great. Happy for him. Trey played well. Trey makes shots. He spreads the court. Um, DJ made baskets. Uh, that one team made not enough threes. And you can't just say, well, one guy missed. Well, then someone else step up. Reed does, did what he does. Um, Adu did some really good stuff. Um, he did, I didn't know he played today because he had been out. Um, but. Uh, you know, they, it was it was good for those those guys, and they want to win. You could tell they're diving on the floor, and this is what practice looks like. They're they're competitive. I got some dogs that winning matters, like the will to win, and it can't just be one guy. Got to be a team full of guys, and it appears as though that's what we have. Coach, DJ and Rob were kind of going at it back and forth all game. Kind of talk a little bit about their relationship, but then also uh, how special it is to have two do-it-all guards who are so young as well. Well, they, you know, I've had guards that go at each other, yet they're friends. And the thing you don't want is one guy gets it going, so now the other guy tries to do more than he should. But I thought they did pretty good um, knowing DJ like I do. He was trying to get baskets because no one could make a basket, so he's just trying to get him to win because that's who he is and that's what he's about. But um, like I said, it was, uh, you know, I, I, Rob made some great passes late when he could have tried to shoot it. When he did force it, I told him, why would you do that? You're getting every shot you want, so don't do that to your team. That's disrespectful to the other guys. But he's, he wants to be so good. He's in the gym all the time. DJ is in the gym all the time. Justin is in the gym, Antonio. Um, but I like Justin missed shots early, and I walked on the court. You keep shooting, you have to mentally work your way through that. That's being professional. You miss some. What's your mindset? Stinking thinking, or can you overcome it? And he overcame it, but he did it by cutting sprinting to balls um, and then making those other plays. He did good. They, they all, I, 
I didn't see anybody that did, didn't help uh, in my eyes. And, and again, I'll watch the tape. I'll see a better idea on the way home. But Cal, when you look at just the depth and just everybody that's been playing, how do you kind of prioritize how many you'd like to go with this? Like, how deep you like to go with this team? Or do you have a number that you like? Dem to it all depends on how many we have that we can go with. I mean, uh, but, you know, what will happen, it all plays out. You know, I figure out ways of making sure everybody, um, you know, gets their opportunity because at the end of the day, that's the key. You got your chance and so-and-so is playing better, so he'll play more. Just how it is. And so, you know, today I talked to them about being a great team and what it means. And my whole point was now that we're playing for real, are you going to go crazy and only worry about yourself? But told if you if you're worried more about the other players on the floor than yourself, it shows, and everybody sees it. Your body language, how you're playing, easy plays. But if we're all doing that, you got four guys looking after you, so you don't have to feel anything. They're doing the same as you, and we're all looking after each other. So that's what I'm talking about most right now. And then the guys that do have the green light, respect it. Respect it. There's no way if you have a green light you should ever take a bad shot. If that other team shuts you down to five or six shots, they did a good job. You can't then force. So accepting roles, it's going to be big for us. <clears throat> You know, it's, it's, that, that's going to be something. And then as guys come back, now it's okay, how does this play out? What do we do? Um, but we've, uh, we've got a good group. We've got, a, a, we've got some warriors, and that's what you want. I don't care, young, old, they can all say, I've said it over the years, if it's talent or experience, I'm taking talent every time. And hopefully there's experience that are talented too. But, you know, we, we've got that kind of group. We just need one of these bigs, two of these bigs, you know, and then eventually all three. So. Kyle, with, with Z, you said last Friday night. Well, I, I shouldn't have said it. I wish I hadn't. But my point was, you're going to be the first to see him. But he goes three hard practices, hard, after the ramp up, after a 30-hour flight, after all the tests and needles and everything he had to have. I mean, he was cramping his calves, his, his hamstring, his groin, his knee. I mean, he had everything going, my ankle, and I just said, stop. We could have him for here, and then I'd be a man of my word. Or we could worry about the season. And I'm worried about the season, so I want to give him some time to let's see what this body can take. Now, I'm like, you went three a days. How can our one practice wipe you out? Well, they didn't play this way, and it wasn't as physical, and it wasn't. So all of a sudden, it, you know, Aaron, I'm not giving you a date because I don't know a date. I said five weeks. How many weeks ago? I don't know. I'm not, you know. And again, I had every intention, and so did Z, that he would be playing this weekend, which is why I said what I said. But. I think our fans know there's one, some, one thing I care about more than anything else, the players and the players' health. And that's, that's what it is with him. But he wanted to play, but we'll be fine. Is there still concern going into the season maybe with uh, Z playing limited minutes, the other two maybe being out just with Trey at the five? It, it, Trey's good at the five. Yeah. Trey's good at the five. How's it doing, Justin, as fours? I mean, I think we have enough, but it'd be nice to have that one guy with size. What happens is, even if he's not, like, blocking every shot, he's still 7'2", and so is Aaron. And now when you drive in there and you're 6'2", he's 7'2". You're, you more pull-ups than try to get layups. Even if he's not blocking them, you'd be lucky to make it. you got to shoot it higher. So, yeah, we need him those guys and uh, you know they want to play in the worst way all three of them I mean it's driving them crazy but you know they both the guys uh, Aaron and Ugana you know it's just Ugana probably in my mind would be the last one to join us only because of the dates of the surgeries 
Cal, certainly a lot of attention will be on, on Rob's scoring tonight, but in fact, he also had seven assists, which, which led everybody in the game. How much does that say about How many steals did he have? Four. I mean, my thing with him is I want him to play like Tyler played off the ball and on the ball. Did he look that way tonight? Yeah. And I'm saying we're not denying, but we're trying to steal. Let's get steals. We're not to deny. Let's go after balls. Um, and again, I liked Justin's athleticism and the strength of uh, Adu. So, you know, he did good. I mean, he had about five things, four things that he tried to, it was about what it looked like instead of making it easy. And let me explain. When you're a really good player, like you're really good and you're one of those guys, you make an extremely hard play look easy. And then someone tries to do it and they sprain their ankle. If you're not that guy, you make an extremely easy play. A layup. Look really hard. Just make easy plays. And when you make that kind of play, anyone that's ever played the game sees it go in and say, he made that look easy. But that's hard. Because you're trying to make the top 10 ESPN plays every play. I had John, I remember John Wall, I had to sit him down. You don't need to play that way. You make one play, it'll be on ESPN. One play. You don't need to make 12. So, you know, it's, it's all the guys just learning about each other and learning what the team needs them to do. Uh, but what I'm saying it again, they were a little ticked, that white team, that they didn't win. Let me... I went in the huddle. They were a couple times like one to, you know, chew light bulbs. I mean, they were, they wanted to win. Yeah, you, you've said in the past that the defense isn't really set up for steals. That you guys don't typically play for that. But with guys like DJ and Rob, does it offer you more opportunity? Justin, yeah. You, you, well, the other side of it is when you have shot blockers, you can be more aggressive because even if you miss and something happens, they're driving into size. So, you know, that happens. But Jordan did a great job under the basket so Robert could find him. Like, you talk about however many assists, my guess is four of them were to Jordan. John, we last one, I'm looking at the guys down into the system and kind of get him up to speed. Do you also have to kind of approach that with just a little Who are you caution. talking about? Z, with a little bit of caution because you'll go out wrong. Say, say, <laughs> Vladimir Ivesich. What's his last name? Ivesich. Okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> when you're trying to kind of hook him in and, and see what he can give you, do you do it with a little bit of caution because you don't know how long the NCAA may take? Yeah, I think he's fine. That's not what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is his body. Like he, the, the NCAA stuff, he could play tonight. He could play the next game and the next game. And my hope is by that time they have enough time. And we've done our homework before he got on the plane to get over here. So... Um, but that, that's not my worry. My worry is physically how much can he play? That's my worry. Now, let me say this. After three days of practice, it wasn't a whole lot. And it was three days of practice. So, and he's the greatest kid. Let me say this. He's really smart, really picks things up quick. Um, terminology is a little different because he's in Croatia a little bit different terminology but what I have would you say Trey can just he can he's a basketball player so is he so is Aaron you're talking basketball players or guards they're not man-made and they're drill guys no they're basketball players um, Antonio rebounded did some good things missed every shot all right that happens but we got guys now that we could say all right we're gonna go with somebody else not your day, but you'll be fine. And this, you just let them play through. But yeah, I'm, uh, you know, this, this, this is the long haul with our team. I mean, we've done it to this point, and it's been good because we can space the court, we can do some stuff. But when you get big guys, you know, all right, where do you put them? Well, they're basketball players, so it, it's fine. Trey, Z and Trey were playing together, Sometimes Trey was inside, sometimes Trey was outside. Trey can play basketball wherever you need him to.
All right, thanks for being here, folks.